In this video, uh, I'm, I'm going to chart with demo rank scan IP and VIP. There's a lot of discussion about scan IP and VIP on the internet uh, since 11 or 2 You already know about it. Today's video just chart to show you when we the system is up and we're down. What is really scan IP and VIP works? The rank system generally is really good for patching or maintenance during the years. Uh, you can shut down the system in the one node and do one by one. Today, we are going to do with our chart to do the same thing. The system of maintenance, we're going to modify the workflow ASM configure and then shut down the one node and go to the next node one by one. Now, do the purpose for this well, not only to see how can we do the maintenance, the purpose is we try to watch scan IP and VIP, how it works. For RAM system, you already know we have a scan name. Scan names are related to the three IPs, or you can change the number. But on the server side, you already have a private, which is to communicate between nodes. Public IP is go from outside, you can connect. What's the VIP? How it works? This video will be show you how it works. Actually, the scan IP is not only scan IP, it is, there is the one scan listener. If you have a three scan IP, you also have a three scan listener. The scan listener actually it's a running on the real node it's not running somewhere else it's a running on the real node with together the local listener but the only difference is local listener is a stuck with the node node one and one right node two three four but scan listener is not stuck with the one node it can be running on any of them The one thing is uh, do not put the scan IP in your host uh, file because scan IP needed to be roving operation, but if you put there, it won't work. The right way is putting the DNS. Here's the how you can check, uh, test it. Using NS lookup, say we use name rank scan with its scan IP name and then you can see there's a three IP related to it when you do the first time the order will be 135, 136, 137 you do the second time what happened 136, 135, 137 the third time you do it it became 136, 137, 135 you rotate if you put in the host file it won't work in that way. As I mentioned, this, this scan listener is actually running on the node, right? For four node system, I have a three scan IP and three scan listener. What we happened? There's a three node have the listener scan. One node do not have it. How about a two node system? If you ask me. In two node system, if you have a three scan IP, one node is going to run in the one scan listener, another two scan listener will be running on the same node. Like I show you here, if you see the TNS will be two listener running on the same node. Another thing that we are going to put in the, our table is to process the one called CVU. CVU is the one for cluster health check, but that one is important. And another one, the QoS, it doesn't matter, it's a database management system, so we are just put their information, but we really do not care about this. These times, we, our purpose is to scan and VIP. So, this two operation process actually is running on one node only. 
We like to see how it moves when the node up and down. So like a system, is one node is down. Right? We would like to see, because this one definitely you need to check the house for cluster. It will, it's going to lead somewhere. Or it's total dead, it's not. So we are going to use this table. So this table will be which node was the standards are up and down. And then we check these four things, VIP, scan, CVU, and QoS. The maintenance we're going to do on four nodes, we uh, do node one by one, one, two, three, four. And then each of them, when we do it, before we shut down the bounce, the CRS, we we will give the summary about scan IP, the VIP, before and after the bounce CRS to see what happened. Here's a big uh, maintenance we're going to do. Actually, we just change Oracle ASM configure one file. We modify this one and two this parameter setup right for ASM scan order. When we do this, what we have to do, we need to bounce ASM. Instead of a bounce ASM, I'm going to bounce uh, CRS. It's the same thing, the ASM is going to be bounced too. So now we are modifying the file. The file is modified for Oracle ASM file. So now I'm going to stop CRS and also start it. Before I stop, before I stop CRS, I will check what is standards for the cluster. This red one is what we're going to follow. Here's the summary. We can see when we start the systems, the node, four node, all of them are. And then the VIP for each node that you have it. Right? But scan, there's the three listeners running on node two, three, four. There's two process here. It's running on node one. It's a status we have. Now let's just bounce it. I issued command here as a stop CRS. It finished successfully. Then we check the status again to see all of things are stable, we do not care, we already know, you see, the node 1 is gone, right? Something is accompanying, the red part is changing, fail over. So here is the summary. The summary shows, on the node 1, by now it's done. There are three process. VIP, which is running on the node 1, is not dead. What? really happened is that VIP on node 1 fell over to running on the node 3 now. These two process, one is go to node 3, this one go to node 4. That is what really happened for this VIP thing, because all the process really have to VIP is not dead. They fell over to the node 3 running there. That's why how wreck can the maintenance the process without shut down the whole system. You just shut down one node who can do the maintenance. Now let's see what happened. Uh, assuming everything will be stable, what it is now, the only thing is the VIP roll over the VIP will come back when we start the CRS. We start CRS, and we see somewhere here. This moved, this moved, right? Everything stay there, only the first node, VIP is up. The next one we are going to do is the, the next one we are going to do is to try to uh, do maintenance on node 2. We are modifying the file. You see node 2 have a three process running. One is the VIP, another one is the listener for scan. The third one is the QoS process. So we modify the file and then 
we shut down the node to the CRS. Here is a summary at the end. When they're shut down, we see what's happening. First, VIP. You can see the VIP by now is moved to the node 3. It's running there, faded over. Right? Then the scan listener. Now it's a live on the node 1. QoS process moved to node 1. Everything else not touch. When you start, and then this one will stay on the node one. So what happening is the node two VIP will be operation. Now we started. To, it should be like this. Node node two not running nothing. Everything on the other node, but VIP is uh, move back. The same thing we did for node 3 was shut down it. Let's see what we have node 3. Node 3 will have three things similar like a VIP, also scan, listener, also have a CVU process, right? When we, you already got the idea. So when we shut down it, the follower will be happened, right? I'll just to show you, so I quickly spend one minute to say, by now we did maintenance on node 3 and we're shut down the CRS on node 3. So when we shut down it, we can see the node 3, the VIPs, uh, live on the node 2 now. The listener go to node 2, the RCVU is go to the node 2, two. So, and then when we start it again, it is come back. VIP come back, everything else stay. So now the last one is for node 4. When node 4, we have a VIP and the listener. It's the same thing like before. We did maintenance on node 4, and then we shut down the CRS. You can see when node 4 is down, the VIP will be lowered to the node 3, and then listener move to node 3. So when we start it, the VIPs come back. VIP come back. Everything else stay where they were. So here is from this experiment, you already know what is how VIP operation and the scan operation. Uh, so VIP generally CRS move the filter node, the VIP to one of them surviving node of cluster. The internal electron to check the purpose is fill over. And then because of this, when the VIP fit lower, your rank is continue to do the work right, without interruption. So even you shut down node or some node is wrong. Scan purpose is different. Scan actually one scan IP, one scan listener. They live on the real server real node scan listener and scan ip live on the same node but it's not stuck with the one node one system node up and down it moves from one to another still live there so outside people using this one to connect to database is still working generally it's running on a round robin already mentioned you were uh, you set up in DNS, not in the host file, right? But for another thing, say it's very easy for connect to databases. Uh, 11G R1, you remember, when you set up TNS name, you got indicate all the nodes one by one. But with the scan, you do not. You just using scan name to connect, just like one host name. Say not the host name one by one, but the scan, rack scan, as a name. Hopefully this video can clarify the, what is going on for the VIP, uh, server VIP and the scan IP. I hope you like it.